Welcome back everyone to Mike Collects Stuff. And today, we're gonna find out what baseball cards I'm investing in this year, in 2021. And we're gonna open up the mail and see what I got on eBay this past couple of weeks. So, what am I investing in? Let's find out. Maybe you'll wanna to invest too. Let's open the first one. We'll put that pile right back there. And we'll start ripping them open. Let's see what we got. What is the first card to come out of the envelope? Put that over here. Open it up. Let's see what we got here. All right, here it is. It is a 2018 Austin Hayes Optic Baseball Orange Prism or Orange Refractor, whatever you want to say. Hollow Prism Refractor. They got many names. I think Prism is the uh, the correct name for this. So it's a Austin Hayes Rated Rookie from 2018 Optic Baseball, Dunruss Optic. And this is numbered out of 199. So they only made 199. It's a nice looking card. I'm just waiting for uh, Austin Hayes to do some good hitting this coming season. He actually did pretty good last season, the last couple of weeks. This card started to go up in value and then the, uh, the, 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 uh, the season ended. So, you know, it is what it is. So I've been stocking up on Austin Hayes this winter. Let's see what else we got. We have a 2020 Bobby Bradley Topps Chrome Sophia Refractor rookie card. Bobby Bradley of the Cle Ganny! Stop barking! What are you doing? Who's making all the noise, huh? You making all the noise? You stop it. You stop making all the noise. Bobby Bradley of the Cleveland Indians has been a top prospect the last few seasons and hasn't had a lot of at-bats in the majors. But uh, Bobby Bradley's a big boy. His first Bowman Chrome rookie came out in 2015, I believe. No, 2014, then his first auto came out in 2015, but this is his rookie card from Topps Crone. It's a Sophia Refractor. So what I like to do is go on to MILB.com, which is minor league baseball, and I like to research uh, all these young guys' stats, and that's how I choose who I'm going to invest in. I don't usually pick the guys that are like the Ronald Acunas and the Te you know, Fernando Tatis Juniors and all those guys that are already well developed and their cards are a million dollars unless I get a really good deal. So I'll find the guys that are not well developed yet and don't have a lot of at bats in the majors. So Bobby Bradley. What's next? Let's open it up. <laughs> All right, we have here a 2020 Topps 35th anniversary 1985 Topps design Bo Bichette rookie card. And I just got through saying I usually don't buy the guys that are well developed, but I didn't pay much for this. I was uh, trying to stock up on some of the lower end Bo, uh, Bo Bichette rookie cards. So I picked up this uh, 2020 35th anniversary Topps. Bo Bichette. He was an excellent hitter in the minor leagues. I think he even hit close to 400 uh, one season. So that's a no-brainer, Bo Bichette. If you can get him cheap, buy him. Get him graded if you can. All right, let's see. Where's my scissors? Where are my, oh, there's my scissors right down there. Right under my nose. I'm blind as a bat. Let's open this padded envelope. And I usually buy a lot of the same guys. I think uh, 
You all know if you watch my other videos, I have a ton of Sam Hillard cards. I was going through all the Sam Hillard cards yesterday and I probably have about 150 Sam Hillard rookie card and autograph cards. So as long as uh, he does something in the near future, I, I should be able to make some money. I don't hold on to cards too long. If I hold card onto cards more than two years, uh, it's because they're not hitting well. So if a player starts hitting well, that's when I decide to sell the card. And trust me, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Because I had Mike Trout's rookie card way back in the day, and I sold it a couple years later, and now it's probably worth about a thousand dollars. And I probably sold it for eighty bucks when it was eighty dollars. But that's what happens. So the next card I got here. Nice little Tops Now packing. Uh, and again, like I said, uh, if I can get some of these well-developed guys uh, that are new at a good price, I'll buy them. And I picked up uh, a couple of Ronald Acuna rookie cards. Uh, I believe these are 20... I need glasses. 2019? 2018... Tops Heritage, I think. I think these are Tops Heritage. So I got these three Ronald Acuna Tops Heritage rookie cards. Uh, hoping to get one that's in pretty good condition and centering and everything and possibly get it graded. So if you can get a Ronald Acuna rookie at a really good price, like under 10 bucks, I say go for it. Because this guy his future is uh, to the moon right now. If he stays healthy. What is going on with my phone? There it goes. Someone texting and popped up on there and that's all I'm looking at. So Ronald Acuna, no brainer. Invest in his cards if you can get them cheap. Invest in his cards if you have the money. I will not pay a lot right now because I don't pay a lot for cards. Let's open the next one see what we got in here. I recycle envelopes too. Cheaper that way. We got a graded card. And it looks like I got this one from Elite 03. I'll share their, their advertising in case you want to buy from them. We have a free top loader, which is good because I can always use top loaders. And we have cardboard. And we got a Brendan Rogers PSA 10. And this is a 2019 Topps Heritage rookie card. PSA 10. Brendan Rogers has been a top prospect for the Rockies for a couple seasons now. He did get a couple of at bats in uh, in 2020. Did not do so good. They sent him back down to the minors. So now is the time to buy Brendan Rogers. Because uh, if you check out his minor league stats, MILB.com, you'll see he is worth investing into. He can hit the home runs, the batting average, he can do it all. So I got the PSA 10 Brendan Rogers. I think I, I maybe paid $15 for this. So good deal. Brendan Rogers, pick him up worth the investment you can get his card pretty cheap especially his rookie card I think his uh, 2015 Bowman Chrome Auto is, uh, is up there a little bit 30 40 bucks or something but still worth investing in if you have the money to do it let's get the next one out of the way you guys like my sound effects envelope in an envelope I like the extra envelopes because I can reuse them. Because I do sell on eBay. These probably won't be on there until the season starts, finishes. Depends on what these guys do. I could put my link at the bottom of this the uh, description if you guys are interested in checking out my eBay page. I don't usually promote it too much just because I enjoy making the videos. 
Oh, looks like we have another uh, graded card here. Let's open it up. They did a good packing job. This one is a SGC graded 10, 2018 tops Austin Hayes rookie. Austin Hayes rookie card, SGC Gem Mint 10. So again, first card, Austin Hayes. Next card, Austin Hayes. I'm starting to stock up on these Austin Hayes cards. So if you go to, uh, actually, yeah, you can check MLB or MILB.com and look at his last 10, 20 games from last season. The guy was hitting like 360 or something with several home runs. So this guy was heating up and his cards are still fairly cheap. So grab a hold of your Austin Hayes cards, rookie cards, autographs, whatever you can get. we got next usually when people ship them in these plain white envelopes I only paid a couple of bucks for them so it's not really worth paying much more than a couple bucks and that's usually all you get is the plain white envelope and, as opposed to the bubble mailer envelope but they did a pretty good job protecting it so here we got a 2020 Bowman Chrome, Arizona Fall League, Ivan Herrera. Ivan Herrera, who I think is on the St. Louis Cardinals. Yep, oh, right there, St. Louis Cardinals. So he is a catcher for the St. Louis Cardinals. And the reason I bought this guy, I was, and I still am, buying a lot of Andrew Kaisner uh, rookie cards and autographs who he also is a prospect and rookie for the Cardinals, but he had a so-so uh, season with the at-bats that he had last year. And this guy, Ivan Herrera, his cards are shooting up pretty quick right now. And I was not willing to pay the price of uh, his autograph card, so I got the next best thing is this basic uh, Fall League refractor card, which I, I still think I paid like five bucks for it. So go check out Ivan Herrera. Uh, he's supposed to be getting some at-bats this season for the Cardinals. Uh, what do we got? We got uh, one, two, three, four packs left. Let's see what else I got in the mail. Ba -ba -ba -da. Cut the package. Whoosh. Bubble wrapped. And this is also a graded card of graded, SGC graded. Gem Mint 10 of Ahmed Rosario of the Mets. So Ahmed Rosario has actually been playing a couple seasons now for the Mets, but uh, he's a, you know, he's been a pretty average player. He's a big guy. Yeah, he's a, uh, Still young, born in 95, uh, six foot two, 190 pounds. And um, yeah, you know, Ahmed Rosario is a 2018 tops rookie card, gem mint 10. So the card was like 12, 15 bucks. And I decided to take a shot at it because I know Ahmed was a uh, top prospect there for a little while. So. Not a bad card to invest in. Guy Zhang, who knows what he's going to do in the future. Mets fans love their, uh, their players. So check out Ahmed Rosario's stats. See if he's somebody you want to invest in because you can get his cards pretty cheap still. Let's do this one. Let's do this card. I'll be cleaning that up later, by the way. Alright, let's see what we got. Two. We have two. 2019. Optic Baseball. 
Fernando Tatis Jr. cards. So this was uh, Fernando Tatis's rookie card year. Uh, this is not labeled a rookie card, but his cards are up there in price, way up there. So this was a lower end uh, 2019 Tatis card. Uh, peak performance. And uh, I grabbed two of them. I think they were like five bucks each or something. So I think there's still a lot of room for these cards to go up in value so we can make some money on them. Uh, especially if I send them in to get them graded if the uh, condition looks good when I take them out of the uh, plastic. So probably send them into PSA or PGS in the future. So if you can get any rookie card or rookie year card or prospect card of Tatis at a good price, do it. What's next? Two more left. And then we can call it a video. Who wants to sit through these videos all night, you know? What do we got? Here we go. Nicely packed for a uh, plain white envelope. It's got the protection there. We have a 2020 Tops. Seth Brown, Walgreens Yellow. Walgreens Yellow. And I like to collect in these uh, Topps Walgreens rookie cards. Uh, they didn't make a whole lot of them. You can only get them in Walgreens uh, exclusive Topps uh, hanger boxes, which are impossible to find. If you're lucky to get one at Walgreens, grab it. They come with three or six, something like that, uh, yellow inserts. And this is a Seth Brown of the Oakland Athletics rookie card. And I bought this card because I checked out his stats and he had pretty decent stats in the minors in 2019. He had 37 home runs with a 297 batting average. So Seth Brown, like I said, check out his stats, see if he's someone you might want to invest in. I think I got a couple of these. So these uh, yellows go up pretty quick in value if the player does something good. Just keep an eye on their stats when they start playing in the majors. Because if they have a string of two or three good weeks, the cards go up pretty quick in value. It's all about watching those stats like watching the stock market. Here's the last one, guys, and then I'll let you guys go. And this feels like another graded card. I got like a pile of like 40 uh, cards that came in the mail the last couple of weeks. So I haven't had time to do one of these videos, so we'll make a couple of them. And uh, I'll post them every couple days or so. So they uh, wrapped it in this nice paper here. So I got me some packing, packing paper. I do like to recycle stuff for when I ship stuff. And here we got a PSA graded Gem Mint 10. Gem Mint 10 PSA graded 2019 Tops. And this is, I think, 1994 retro design. Eloy Jimenez rookie card with the uh, 1994 Future Star design. Eloy Jimenez rookie card. Uh, I think I paid. $18 for this Aloy Jimenez rookie. And again, he's one of those players, if you can get his cards at a reasonable price, uh, it's, it's worth the investment. And this is a Gem Mint 10 Aloy Jimenez. And I think his cards are only gonna go up in the future. So yeah, we got a nice uh, assortment of young players. Some are pretty well developed already, some aren't. And uh, you know, see if there's somebody you wanna invest in out of the bunch, or maybe you are investing in them. I don't know. Leave some comments. What do you guys think of the, the guys here? Brendan Rogers, Seth Brown, uh, Fernando Tatis is someone you probably already are investing in, Ahmed Rosario, Austin Hayes, I'm telling you, invest in this guy, uh, Ronald Acuna, no brainer, Bo Bichette. Definitely invest in Bo Bichette. And uh, we got a Bobby Bradley here. So that's it for today. Oh, don't forget about Ivan Herrera. Check him out. 
that's it for this video. Thanks for watching for the uh, 20 minutes. Check out the next videos coming up. Check out my previous videos. Don't forget to subscribe right down below the video. Hit the subscribe button. It's very easy. Subscribe. Have a good night, guys. We will see you soon.